today. <gasps> Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm so excited to see you all this morning and I'm excited to talk with you about God. Our story today is from the Bible. What is the Bible? Hmm. Should we think on the other side? Hmm. What is the Bible? Hmm. Oh, I think I know. The Bible is God's Word. That's right. This week in our lesson, we are learning about a man named David. Can you say David? Good job. In our story today, David was a young man and he loved God very, very much. David was a shepherd. That means that he took care of sheep. What sound does a sheep make? Ma, ma. Look, I found a sheep right here. Let me see if I can find any more. Ma. Oh, I found two. Hi, sheep. Hi, David. Now, in our story, we learn that David's people were in a battle, and there was a man on the other side named Goliath who was scaring everyone. Goliath was a giant. He was super duper tall. In fact, he was nine feet tall. Whoa! Can you reach your arms up to be super duper tall? Oh, good job. Goliath wanted to hurt God's people. Oh, no! He thought he could beat anyone. In fact, for 40 days, he came out and he shouted a challenge to anyone and everyone ran away. Can you run with me? Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Run, run, run. Now David's brothers were in the army and David was on the battlefield to bring them food from home. So David heard Goliath shout his challenge. And do you know what David did? David went to the king and told the king that he wanted to volunteer to fight Goliath. No one thought he could do it. After all, he was a young shepherd boy. He also played the harp. Can you pretend to play the harp with me? Good job. Yeah, but I guess playing the harp doesn't look very warrior-like, does it? No one thought David could be a warrior. But David knew that God would protect him and keep him safe. The king, King Saul, offered his armor for David to borrow in battle. But do you know what? The armor was so super de duper heavy that David couldn't even walk while he wore it. So instead, David went to a stream and there he found five smooth stones. Can you count to five with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So David took five stones and a slingshot and he set out to fight Goliath. David said that God had protected him in the past. In fact, God had given David the strength to fight big lions and bears that might want to hurt his sheep. So David knew that God would deliver him. I like to put When Goliath saw David, he made fun of him because he was so young. But David said in the Bible, he said, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. He said, The battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. Then do you know what happened? David ran at Goliath. He took a stone and he slingshotted it right at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath in his forehead and that giant fell to the ground with a giant thud. David's people were saved. 
God gave David, a young boy, the power to defeat Goliath, a giant, with just a pebble. He didn't have to be a big, strong warrior. David trusted God, and God used David to protect Israel. We need to trust God too. He loves us so much and he will take care of us. So why don't we pray to God and thank him that we can trust in him? Do you think we could find our praying hands? Oh, my praying hands are on my head. Now they're on my nose. Now they're on my toes. And they're ready to go. And let's rub our praying hands together. Warm our praying hands up. Mine are super warm. Are yours ready? And stick them together. And stick them together. All right, friends, would you please close your eyes and bow your heads? We're going to talk to God. Ready? Father God, we just thank you for this day, Lord, for this day that you have made. God, I pray that you would help us to be joyful in this day. And Lord, we thank you for the words in the Bible that remind us you are our shield and our strength. Lord, you fight our battles for us. And I pray that you would just help us to trust in you and to just worship you with our lives. Lord, we love you so much, and we're so grateful that we get to be your children. I pray all these things in your most holy name. And what do we all say together? Amen! All right, friends, why don't we sing Jesus Loves Me? And then I'll say goodbye. Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you so, so soon. Bye! We all talked about God.